Hey, what's up guys? Another video, another day in the life. All right, this one, I need your guys' help. Watch it all the way through because I need you to weigh in. All right, here's what I'm trying to figure out. By the way, super windy. I apologize in advance. Looking for leaf loaders, debris loaders, and we're going to be talking about the Billy Goat Z3000 stand-on leaf blower. And then we're also going to be talking about the Billy Goat debris loader. Here's what I'm looking for. Right here, I'm trying to figure out how to or what I should do to mount a leaf loader. The idea is I'm going to build a bracket system here. I'm going to share a couple of photos that you guys have sent me in and show me what you guys are looking, uh, what you guys have done in the past. I need to mount something right here, put the debris loader right here, shoot it into the bed. All right, that's the idea. I'm thinking about making a whole box up here for the dump bed, making a swing door, and when I drop the ramp, the swing door will open, lift this all up, and it all comes out. All right, so here's the deal. We took a hit in spring, just like all of you guys did, right? Um, we lost out 20,000 bucks. So I want to make that up with leaf cleanups. Plus, I just want to make a bunch more money doing leaf cleanups in general. Every year, the last uh, four years now that we've been offering them, more customers, more money, things have been going really well. But we still got bottlenecks, okay? Uh, a lot of my customers have wood lines, so my idea is I can use that Z3K, blow it into the wood line, and then we can also vacuum and bag the lawns like normal. Instead of jumping up and hoisting bags up and over into this thing all the time, even double boards, I can only get like two, three yards in there. Well, what if I had a debris loader that could shred it up, we mount it on the trailer tongue, right? And then I could vacuum all that side, curbside, dump the bags, Rob can vacuum it up, shoot it in the here, dump, go, get five yards up in here instead of like two or three. That's what I'm looking to do. So here's what I'm at, uh, or here's where I'm at. And I know I'm coming at you guys quick, I gotta get on a phone call at four o'clock. But uh, I'm up here at Wine Guards. We're gonna go look at debris loaders. We're gonna go look at that Z3K. Maybe Alex or James are up here. They can help point us in the right direction. But what do you guys have? 14 horsepower debris loader, the 18 horsepower. What do you guys think about this whole setup? Is that a smart move, smart investment? Let me know. All right, let's go run inside. All right, guys. So a little sneaky sneak in here at Wine Guards. Let's see what we got here. So. There's a 13 horse, there's an 18 horse, and then I think there's the, yeah, this is the big guy. Yep, the Vanguard 37. All right, so it's funny. I was actually just on the phone with Alex Nick, and he said, go with the 18 horse for sure over the 13 horse. Uh, I can't fit a 37 horse. Look at this thing. This is huge. You could fit a small child in this, okay? Look at this. What? So I think 37's out. How much is this thing? 7,400 bucks. Wow. All right, so I don't know if we're gonna go that route, but the 18 horse, I think is a little bit more my wheelhouse. <laughs> or at least it was, 4,200. Uh, if it was like 25 or 3,500, that'd be nice, but dude, these are just, all right. I don't wanna sound whiny, but still a lot of money. So the idea would be to mount this on the front of the trailer and then I think what we're gonna do is turn it 90 degrees. So this uh, chute that sucks everything up, we want it on the passenger side, right? And we'd have to turn the whole block, the whole unit, about 90 degrees, get that kicking off to the side, and then what we would do, we would turn this about 90 degrees as this whole thing shifts, right? So that's kind of the idea. Making this up as I go. How we doing, Brad? Hey, you got my etcher? Edger. All right, can I get that? You can get this. Yeah, my man. All right, I'll catch up with you in a sec. Okay. Brad's always coming through clutch, right? All right, so next up we got the stand on boards, right? So we got the X3000, Z3000. By the way, shout out to Brad. 12.8. Uh, so what do we got now? 12.8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 grand. I don't know, man, it's a lot of leaves to suck up to make back 17 grand. <sighs> Get frustrated. I'm just, I'm tired of jumping in and out of that truck uh, to bag leaves, and then when I get in there, I'm like smashing it down with my feet, like I'm smashing grapes. You guys, you guys ever do all that? And then uh, we only get two, three yards in it at most. Um, and that's after cutting the grass, double cutting the leaves, mincing them up. Well, we'll have the X-Blazes here with Ballard, so that might, you know, give us a little bit more room. I don't know. The loader I could do, the Z3K, 
Uh, should we do one or the other? I think there is a promotion going on where you 10% off both with uh, Goat Oberfest. I don't know what what marketing person put that together. Rich, is that you? So, all right. Let me know what you guys think. 18 horse, Z3K. Let's go back outside, see what we're up to. Hey, really quick, by the way. We always got an option of these things. So we get the F14 or F18, right? Which one is this? This is, I have no idea. So this is the 17 inch, uh, I don't know. Oh, F10. So this is probably the 14 or the 18. I don't know. Man, I'll tell you guys what, it is super windy out. And uh, you like my double chin uh, barrier, so this is a high zat. But uh, wow, I didn't expect that to be 4,700 bucks and like 12,000. That's 16, 17 grand. Now, here's the interesting thing. A lot of you guys uh, down, you know, like Midwest and South, you can do leaves all the way through January, February. Um, you don't really get the snow that we do, right? Up here in Michigan, I don't know, you guys can tell I'm really debating it now because up here in Michigan, we could have snow sec week of November uh, and we're done, right? So you could buy 16 grand worth of this stuff um, and have one week left to make four grand, yeah, but are we gonna be able to continue to do leaves for another two, three weeks, four weeks to pay this thing off, make money on it? I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of debating it. Like, it's a lot, but over four or five years, it's not the end of the world. Uh, we've got the cash for it, it's just, I don't know, what would you guys do? All right, I'm not frustrated. I'm just trying to figure it out. Um, what I am frustrated is that we took a 20 grand hit in the spring and I would like to make that up. And if I have all this set up, I think this would help alleviate a huge bottleneck where we could make more money in the spring, we could make more money in the fall, and just help us have that much more stout leaf cleanup income uh, through the spring and fall. So. All right, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Short and sweet. Love to hear your guys' thoughts. As always, thank you. Uh, when I put this out on Instagram, there's about 70 of you that shot me a, a photo and a video of your setup, and I thought it was awesome. So thank you to social media. Thank you to you guys. I'm learning as I go, just like you guys are, right? We're in this together. So, all right, that's it. Over and out on this video, guys. Can't wait to see you guys on the next one.